Shadows of the Earth, The Token, Book 2, by Nathan Heistad, A Summary. Shadows of the Earth is the sequel to The Event in the science fiction series The Token by Nathan Heistad. The story continues the thrilling adventure of Dean Parker, who was once an ordinary college professor until alien technology transformed his life and the world around him. The book delves into the aftermath of the initial events where Earth encountered the alien race known as the Crestar who brought destruction, but also the mysterious tokens that granted humans access to advanced technology and instantaneous travel across vast distances. This has allowed Dean to become a pivotal figure in uniting different human settlements and building a defense force against further extraterrestrial threats. At the beginning of Shadows of the Earth, Dean Parker and his team are racing against time to fortify Earth's defenses. Earth has been divided into various factions, each fighting for control over the remaining resources and the advanced technology left by the Crestar. Dean's command over the central military force known as the New Earth Defense Force, NEDF, has granted him the influence and resources needed to protect what's left of humanity. Dean and his team have been working on merging alien technology with their own, creating a fleet of hybrid ships capable of space travel and combat. However, they face a shortage of skilled pilots and engineers, a problem they hope to solve by recruiting from the scattered human enclaves across the globe. The plot thickens when Dean's daughter Mary goes missing during a scouting mission. Dean's personal investment in the mission becomes the driving force behind a desperate search to find his daughter and bring her home safely. As Dean and his team travel across planets, they not only have to contend with remnants of the Crestar, but also new alien species, further complicating their efforts. Amidst this chaos, Dean's relationship with his wife, Mary's mother, becomes strained due to the pressures of leadership and the constant danger. Dean finds himself torn between his duty to humanity and his responsibilities to his family. His character struggles with the burden of making difficult decisions that affect the lives of those he leads and those he loves. Throughout their journey, Dean's team gathers more allies, collecting a diverse group of humans and friendly alien species, all while deciphering more clues behind the tokens and the purpose behind the Crestar's visit to Earth. They begin to understand that the tokens are more than mere tools. They are part of a larger puzzle, connected to the fate of multiple worlds. Amidst their exploration, Dean's group uncovers evidence of an even greater threat looming on the horizon an ancient and powerful enemy of the Crestar known as the Luminar. The discovery that the Luminar plan to annihilate Earth to prevent a prophecy from being fulfilled adds urgency to their mission. The EDF's focus shifts to not only defending against potential Crestar incursions, but also preparing for a confrontation with the Luminar. Dean's leadership is put to the ultimate test as he must unify the human race and the allied alien species to stand a chance against the impending invasion. The climax of the book is marked by intense space battles and on-the-ground skirmishes, showcasing the bravery and ingenuity of Dean's forces. Intrigue and betrayal also play a part in the unfolding events, as not all humans or aliens are willing to work for the common good. Dean's personal journey intertwiles with the larger narrative, as he becomes a symbol of resistance and hope for all of humanity. The development of his character, from a simple academic to a seasoned leader, is one of the central arcs of the story. As the battle rages on, the significance of the tokens is revealed, proving to be key elements in Earth's strategy against the Luminar. The tokens not only enable travel and communication across vast distances, but also harbor energies that can be harnessed for incredible feats, including powering the NEDF's strongest weapons and ships. At the end of Shadows of the Earth, the situation remains dire, with encounters with the Luminar indicating that Earth's fight for survival is far from over. Despite the setbacks and losses, Dean and his team make significant headway in understanding their alien adversaries and bolstering Earth's defenses. The book concludes with a sense wary optimism, setting the stage for the next installment in the series. Earth has become a significant player in the cosmic conflict, with Dean Parker at the helm of a united human front determined to protect his planet and family at all costs. Shadows of the Earth encapsulates themes of unity, perseverance, 
and the intrinsic value of cooperation across cultural and species boundaries. It delves into the personal and societal changes that come with exposure to extraterrestrial life and advanced technology, exploring the idea that even in the darkest times, hope can be a powerful weapon. Dean Parker's journey exemplifies the capacity for ordinary individuals to rise to extraordinary challenges when the fate of the world is at stake. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.